The Clash of Communities 2022 event, featuring the communities from that of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and War Divisions, is still going on in Final Fantasy Exvius Universe. You can still participate in this event through the associated Discord channel by clicking on the Discord link that's listed below. React to this message with a thumbs up. And from now until August 31st, vote for any number of your favorite creations on the Vote channel. At the end of the voting period, the three creations with the most votes will be declared the winners in a later livestream. Furthermore, in support of this event, there's a special, limited time offer until August 31st related to Clash of Communities, where you get 3% Amazon coins back on select in-game purchases from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or War of Divisions. Amazon Coin is a digital currency that is available through the Amazon App Store where you can download your favorite games. You can purchase Amazon Coins to use it to get several items through the Amazon App Store, which can let you save on apps, games, and in-app purchases. Now you might be wondering, why not just spend regular money? You see, Amazon Coins has a nice bonus added to it. The more you purchase, the greater the discount applied to the sale, so you potentially get more mileage out of the money you plan to spend. For example, if you'd like to get 50,000 Amazon Coins, it's normally at the price of $500, but Amazon Coins has its own discount applied to it, slashing the price down to $400 instead, a 20% discount. There are multiple packs with different discounts, so feel free to take a look and pick what appeals to you. In order to get access to Amazon Coins, you must be using the version of the game downloaded from the Amazon App Store. So make sure your current account is bonded beforehand on your current version of the game. Then, after downloading the game from the Amazon App Store, load your account back on to regain your progress. This way, you can now purchase Amazon Coins. So if you're a spender looking for ways to get more out of your money, consider Amazon Coins. This is a pretty useful feature that can help you if you're budgeting, so if you're interested in this, make sure to use the link in the video description as it supports this channel. Thanks again to Amazon App Store for sponsoring this video. And speaking of which, let's get back to it. Let's go over the killers. All of them, but limited to the unit's home game. Fledgling Warrior, Emperor Palamecia, Ricard and Wyvern, Renoa and Angelo, Laguna, Fleet-Footed Sky Pirate Balthier, Dynast King Cyan Ash, and Samurai Chizuru. Aquatics, Trustmaster Rewards, Erwin's Hyomanto, Ollie's Aquan Killer, Ferris's Soldier's Protection, Triumphant General Salas's Noble Magitech Knight, Super Trustmaster Rewards, Fina, The Returns Floral Hairpin, Lord of the Seas Nikos, Lord of the Seas Garments, and Naren's Trance Saber. We do not have that many aquatic killers. In fact, there aren't any magical aquatic killers that I haven't already mentioned, so moving on. Beast, Trustmaster Rewards, King of Leonis Mons, the Neil King of the Lions, Warrior of Dawn Dorgan's Watcher of the Sealed, Erwin, and Zenaida's Graceful Footwork. And there's another guy with a beast killer, but that's literally 10%. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum, it's Balthier's upgraded Arcturus, trumping out several Super Trustmaster rewards. For pure magic, we've also got Barbaricha's Spirit. On to the Super Trustmaster rewards. Irvine's Valued Memories, Dark Fina Warrior Prayer's Serpent Bone Whip of the Crimson Lily, Flammy Soaring Legendary Dragon, Tulian Skegiode, Samurai Chizuru's Harukaze, Knights of Grand Shouts Saber of Souls, Marquis de Leon's The King of Beasts, Lord of the Seas Nico. Inferno Fire Rain's Inferno Battle Garb, Fina, The Return, Tacterius Nucco, Blue Sky Bell Fran Sagittarius, Noppy's Kupo Sword, Merilith Sword, Warrior of Light's Bartz's Blade, and lastly, sadly, Jade's Split Pot Poker. Birds, Trustmaster Rewards, Erwin, House's Lucidus Robe, Doma Samurai Science Secret Technique of Doma, Rosa's Goddess Bow, Thoughtful Sister Maria's Yoichi's Bow, Lux Rising Sun, Pachiotis Whirlwind, Fina, The Returns Pure So's Prayer, and for Magic, Barbaricha and Sarah Sagittarius. Super Trustmaster Rewards, Neovision Lock Sniper, Renault and Angelo's Pinwheel, Wild Rose Furian's Weapon Specialist, Neovision Furian's Bow, Blue Sky Bell Fran, Mugo of Narshe Mogs and Partisan, Yuffie's Conformer, Stylish Steward Pachiotis Raspero, Marquis de Leon, Jade, and also Malfazi's Ravenheart. Uggs, Merilith's Fiend's Hellflame, and Pouse. We do have more Super Trustmaster rewards though. Isis Whatever, Renault and Angelo, Eileen's Scanning Goggles, Neovision Laswell's Purple and Black Battle Attire, and Dark Mage Extas Overcoming Magic Death. Demons, Trustmaster rewards, Edward and Alphonse Elric's Two Parts of One Ho, Knights of Grand Shouts So's Join Through Prayer, Dark Knight Luna's Dark Knight's Knowledge, Corral Shrek Leader, Ninja Master Hawkeye's Black Garb, 
Golden Risers Loved by Generations, Fina, The Return, Wildcard Aces Upgraded Wildcard, Doma Samurai Saiyan, Alasparasis Onimaru, Full Moon Cartons Flame of Vengeance, Stormseeker Esters Chasing a Storm. There are some pure magic colors too, like Lunaris Elspo or Dark Spirit So's Revenant Necklace. Super Trustmaster Rewards Martial Artist Mam's Dark Armor Fist, Lunaris Force Mysterian, Dragon Knight Baron's Demon Dragon Blade, Hero Die Sword of Die, Mage Pot's Black Rod, Nico The Returns Lucent Water Fan, Sakura The Returns Lightning Scythe, Superior Being Hadler Sword of Champions, Fledgling Warrior's Armor of Light, Olivera's Fabled Magic Violin, Frostblade Fravius Azure Dawn, Tidebringer Kaido's Shin Shiruken, Cacteria, Full Moon Carton's Accursed Being, Regina's Battle Intelligence, Malfazy, and Alasparis's Vampirism. There is one that's just magic and that's Roy Mustang's Ishvau's Hero. Dragons, Trustmaster Rewards, Heroes and Wards Harpoon, Roberta's Crimson Blood, Skaha's Dragon Killer, Hesage Round's Dragon Vanquisher, Ferris, Neovision Lasva's Dragon Obliterating Katana, Graceful Champion Fang's Dragon Horn, Zenaida, and Awakened Dragon Axtor's Awakened Dragon. We've also got some pretty good magic ones, with Zyrus's Draco Spike and Umbral Dragon Dark Phoenix Dark Bahamut Synergy. Super Trustmaster Rewards Laswell and Regan's Darkness Purging Blades of Azure Crimson, Duran's Deathbringer, Dragon Knight Baron, Hero Die, Knights of Grand Shao, Has Sage Round's Pluey Saber, Ish, Duke's Virtue Drake, Laguna's Machine Gun, Noel's Last Guardian, Noppy, Stylish Steward Pachiata, Mystical Ice Laswell's Glacial Battle Garb, and Sky's Nomad's Necklace. On the pure magic side, we've got Operative Cyrus's Holographic Transceiver. Humans, Trustmaster Rewards, Groff Only Xenogears, Knights of Grand Shout, King of Leonis Mont, Assassin Shadow's Heartless Assassin, Just Magic Barbaricha, Setra Descendant Eris The Future is a Blank Page, Golden Riser, Dark Knight Sasso's Darkbringer, Supreme Deva Axtar's Asura Synergy, Zenaida, Awakened Dragon Axtar, Venera Fenis's A Witching Heels, Full Moon Carting, and lastly 10% Scardio. Super Trustmaster Rewards Kiros and Wards Katar, Dragon Knight Baron, Saiten's Munio Sword, Zeno of the Beta Star's Searing Ember, Superior Being Hadler, Immortal Knight Garland's Cornelia Knight Armor, Emperor Palamecia's Emperor's Armor, Guy's Belt, Jasper Unbound Supreme Sentinel, Wild Rose Furion, Just Magic Dark Mage Extaff, S Dark's Hell Saber, Naren, Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth's Masamune, Axtar and Cleom's Master and Apprentice's Great Katana, Roberta and Ignatos's Crimson Malice, Stylish Steward Pachiata, Elena and Marquis de Leon's Falcon Knife, Vermilion Blade Ardent's Devotee's Rhymant, Full Moon Carton, Knight Delita's Dark Aspirations, Two Beast Executioner, Fossler's Nightmare, and Alice Barris. Machines, Trustmaster Rewards, Chow's Anti Armor Tactics, Pyvis's Raging Tempest, Id, but only Xenogears. King Edgar of Figaro's Master of Machinery. Also Edgar, Machine Killer. Such a Descendant Aerith. Wildcard Ace. Cleom's Black Blade Princess. And Stormseeker Esther. Super Trustmaster Rewards. Tulian. A Bad Girl Riku's God Hand. Cindy's Mechanic for the Royal Family. Irvine. Lefsha. Warrior's Prayers Mechanized Tiger Tamari. Noel. Cleom's Fatal Chrysanthemum. Heavenly Technician Lid's Mechabo Hammer. Prompto's Executioner, Eileen, Esther Storm Bunny Jacket, Olive's Journo, Regina, Aitsu's Gentle Trader, Art's Margie's Wish, Bautier's Zodiac Shop, Operative Magic, and lastly Jade. Plants, Trustmaster Rewards, Berserkus of Death Double Edged Spear, Merleth, Yubel's Reaper of the Dust Storm, and Irwin. Super Trustmaster Rewards, Samurai Chizuru, Warrior of Life Barts, Merleth, Stylish Steward Pachiata, Eileen, Sage of Thunder Sakura, Sage of Thunder's Vestment, and Magic Mage Xdef once again. Reapers, Trustmaster Rewards, Neovision Onion Knights Chosen by the Wind Crystal, Full Moon Carton, Stormseeker Esther, and Cleome. Super Trustmaster Rewards, Dark Reign's Emperor's Glaive, Fledgling Warrior, Flammy, Magic Oliveira, Frostblade Bravia, Cleome, Cobalt Blade Noctis's Kingly Raymond, Sky, Full Moon Carton, and Onion Knight's Mission. Stone, Trustmaster Rewards, Barbaricha, King Giot's Stone Killer, Rockus Proof of Growth, Stormseeker Esther, and Zenaida. Super Trustmaster Rewards, 
Hero Die, Immortal Hyanko's Dark Armor Spear, Wild Rose Spearian, and on the pure magic side we've got Oliveira and Poppy, Warrior's Prayer's Great Brush of Seven Colors. There's also Mugo of Narshi Mog, Eileen, Raka's Starlight Dress, Esther, and Zell's Clothes. Spirits, Trustmaster Rewards, Just Raka. Super Trustmaster Rewards, Dark Fina, Warrior's Prayer, Blue Mage Fina's Blue Mage Dress, Mage Pop, Immortal Hyanko, Dark Rain, Flammy, Tidebringer Kaido, Sage of Thunder Sakura, Raka, Regina, and Neo Vision Physalis' Magic Peace Finders. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. That was all the Trustmaster rewards and Super Trustmaster rewards with a killer attached to them, and this small list just really goes to show how big the game is with the various other places to get killers. Nevertheless, some of the biggest killers are only available through unit awards, and getting them can drastically strengthen your gameplay. Making this video has really helped me decide which ones I should use my Mugos on, or units I'll definitely have to get if they ever return, especially after I reviewed my inventory, so I hope this can help you too. Regardless, this was such a pain to make, I'll never do this again.